everyone, my name is Kathy. If you want to find my weight loss fan page, it is Kathy's Weight Loss Journey. It is on Facebook. I want to talk about food addiction. A lot of people do not understand what food addiction is. I unfortunately have a food addiction and I do admit to it. It took me a very long time to be able to actually acknowledge and realize and then admit I have a food addiction. A food addiction is not really looked upon as anything serious because a lot of people they don't get it but what I think is if you have somebody who is anorexic or you have somebody who is bulimic it is the same as having a food addiction it really is but a lot of people they do not they do not think so and I don't understand because if you have a, an eating disorder regardless if it's on my end or somebody who doesn't eat or they throw up it is still an issue it is still a problem and a lot of people they don't they don't believe so and I do not understand why because regardless if I eat too much or somebody doesn't eat at all it should both be equal and I I really think that it should be equal because I can't sit there and tell somebody you need to eat you need to quit throwing up eat a burger and then you're cured if I said that how stupid would I look but you want to tell somebody with a genuine honest food addiction oh just quit eating oh that's magic thank you because I didn't think of that myself no it does not go away also regardless of how much weight I lose whether it was 135 or now 106 I still have it it's not going away it'll never go away I think of food all of the time so if it's dinner I'm thinking about what am I gonna have tomorrow if it's if it's breakfast I'm thinking what am I gonna eat later I have food stashed away I have food at work I have enough food for probably a week at work I have enough food in my house my friends joke that I'm a food hoarder but I can't help it it's always on my mind even if I don't eat all of it it's always on my mind and if I actually let myself be controlled by my food addiction I would eat all day every day and just and just be happy but it's a battle it is such a battle every day and I understand people with anorexia or bulimia it is terrible it is something you cannot control I fully understand but I just do not agree that people who are starving themselves or people who don't eat or they purge or they're looked upon with such sympathy and such understanding and it's just it's an issue and they and you have a food addiction oh well, you're just fat you just like food you're fat that's that's all you get there's there's no understanding there's no sympathy there is there's nothing you're fat get over it put the burger down and that, that's really not how it goes I wish it did I wish that someone can just tell me and a light bulb goes off it doesn't work that way it is it is really no different to have a food addiction than it is for somebody to be scared of food wanting to eat food all day long and then scared of food they should be equal and I really do not understand why they are not because again if you're skinny and you don't eat poor you it's sympathy but if you're fat and you really honestly suffer from a food addiction Oh, you're just fat and that's all in your control and you just need to get over it. And it really isn't. Now, there are a lot of people who will either starve themselves and say that they have an issue when they don't. I get it. There's also people who just love to eat and just will eat and they honestly do not have a food addiction. There is a difference. And it should not be looked upon where you get sympathy based on your weight. Because somebody is skinny, they get more support than somebody who's fat just because it's on the opposite ends of the food eating it's really no different they really need to be equal and I don't understand why when you're skinny you get such help and when you're fat you just get your embarrassment you know it's your choice I can't sit there and tell somebody who is bulimic or anorexic it's their choice no it is actually a medical problem it is recognized as a medical problem but my food addiction is just my choice to be fat so I just don't I don't understand it I really think that it needs to be equal and I don't think that sitting there calling somebody fat and telling them to put down the burger is gonna do it because you know what that's like me yelling at a skinny person to eat it's not gonna work it is not something simple it is really a medical issue so do not need to be mean you do not need to make fun of people because you do not know the demons that they are facing that can be battling something you have no idea about so you're gonna sit there and judge me based on my weight 
That's you. You have a problem, not me. I know I have a food addiction, but that is my demon. I do not sit and point out anybody else's. So I just really believe that you need to be understanding of both sides. Again, bulimia, anorexia, it is on the opposite. I get it completely. It is It is your mind. It is a battle. Every day you eat or you don't eat, it is a battle with yourself. You, For me not to eat, I have to tell myself all day, every day, do not eat, do not eat, do not eat. It is no different than somebody who's starving themselves and their brain is saying, don't eat, don't eat, but they, they starve. Me, I will eat all day long, every day, constantly, but I have to fight that to not eat. So it just really needs to be understood more. People need to quit being such jerks about it. Calling someone fat is not going to make them, you know, skinny. Just being mean is not helpful because, again, you do not understand what anybody else is struggling with. You do not understand what anybody else is dealing with and is not your place to be rude about it. So I really just want to get it out there that a food addiction, again, if you like to eat food, you can't really say it's a food addiction. It is, it is different. But when you honestly have a food addiction, there really needs to be people who support it, people who understand it, and people who actually recognize that it is a problem. And it's not just my fat person's excuse to still be fat. Because, yes, I love food. Always will be food. But people just need to understand that it needs to be equal. So just because you're fat does not mean that you're really in that control of it. Because sometimes... You are not. There are days where I break down and I will eat. Like yesterday, I'm sitting there covered up with a blanket eating dark chocolate and pretzels. Was I hungry? No. Was I telling myself to eat? Telling myself not to eat? Don't eat, don't eat. Guess what? I ate. I ate a lot. I will snack all day. And it got me yesterday. So it is something I deal with every day, something I battle with every day, something I will always battle with regardless if I get to be skinny or not. I will still have a food addiction. So just be kind to people. Don't mean to be mean about it.